Oh, a match made in heaven, isn't it? <laughs> like, subscribe, and hit the notification, you guys. Or join the Patreon and gossip with me and all my friends. We have like over a thousand people in the Patreon. It's really fun in there. We really do gossip like real time. So let's do this. Gossip intertwined with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion season 13, part three. So we open up tonight's episode and Sutton Strack is almost essentially taken out within a few minutes of it. The conversation is that Kathy Hilton is coming in to the reunion to join Kyle Richards on the couch. Kathy's a surprise guest. No one's supposed to know, but, you know, it was leaked. But anyway, Kathy, you know, comes in and she sits on the couch and Andy Cohen is building this whole thing up to get Kathy going. And so they show a montage of all the scenes from season 11 of everybody sort of shit talking Kathy Hilton. Uh, and it's obvious that Kathy Hilton is intimidated by Erica Girardi because she can tell Erica doesn't care about Kathy's social status. By the way, Erica and Lisa were the ones that called out her homophobic slur, you know, all this stuff that happened at the nightclub in Aspen. So it's interesting to me that she isn't targeting them in tonight's show. She's more targeting Sutton. And we know this because Kathy admits after Sutton has this woozy spell that she was coming for Sutton. You're 49 years old. It's bound to happen. Notice she calls out her age. I'm going to put this on your heart, okay? Mm -hmm. You're shaking a little bit. Do you feel dizzy or nauseous at all? Well, I got a little scared. Why? Just trying to figure out. Kyle giving Kathy the look of death, like shut up and act like you care that Sutton's dying. And Kathy going, Why? Why were you scared, Sutton? Could it be me? Okay, you're okay. You're okay. Your blood pressure is high, your pulse is high. You should call like 911 to come get her. No, she has well, to go get I'm checked out anyway. I think that you should get checked out. I don't think it's necessary that we call 911 for you. Thank We've you. got transpo here that can take you gladly right. to Perfect. local urgent care or to a hospital if you feel that that's necessary. Erica and Kathy showing in their actions that they think Sutton's issue is BS. How have you been? Good. I, I love the holidays so much and yeah, I felt yeah. like I didn't get to... Enjoy it enough. Is your tree still up? Are you still have your stuff up? I just took it down. Oh, wow. So if you ask Sutton, she's going to say, oh, I'm such good friends with Kathy. But Kathy is coming for Sutton. Yes, she is. <laughs> she's pissed. She's coming. There's a few things you don't do to Kathy. And getting in between her and Kyle's one of them. Even though she doesn't necessarily like her sister that much. She does love her, and it is her turf. So you don't mess with Kathy's turf. And obviously, Kyle brought Kathy in to sick Sutton. So I'll leave it to you guys to decide. Was Sutton scared because she was dizzy, or was Sutton scared because Kathy Hilton walked in to call her on all the stuff that she said about Kathy and Kyle's relationship on the show at, I'm sure, Kyle's asking. What do you think? So Kathy Hilton's point blank says she thinks that Sutton Strack got sick because she was scared that Kathy was going to come for her. Now, uh, Sutton kept saying, I got frightened. Now, to be fair, I'll play you what Bryce Sanders got out of Sutton Strack in an interview to do with her getting sick on the show. Room spun and kind of went upside down. And I remember grabbing onto Garcelle and... Um, that's kind of what I blood pressure was 175 over 120. And um, they sent me to urgent care and Garcelle came with me. I started throwing up everywhere, literally on the floor. It was crazy and took my vitals. And she said, you, the doctor said, you need to get to the emergency room. Like I had to get in an ambulance on a gurney, but I just kept falling asleep in and out and in and out. They did a bunch of tests on me. And Garcelle, she stayed the whole time. So it turns out Sutton was just dehydrated. Hope it was no underlying health issue because there's obviously been a lot of rumors about that 
in this season. So when you read the thumbnail, you thought I was saying that Sutton was thirsty, but I was saying she was really thirsty. It had nothing to do with Kathy's appearance. <laughs> Kathy and I are good friends. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but someone needs to tell Sutton that the whole time she was dying of dehydration, Kathy Hilton was talking about her Christmas decorations and couldn't give two shits and called her age out on national TV. <laughs> what a bitch. Now, the rumor is that Kathy Hilton wants to come on season 12 as a housewife again, but as a full-time housewife, not a friend of. But the question is whether or not they will let Kathy do that. I think they probably will, but it'll depend, you know, price point and who's going to go on the show that Kathy can bring on or who wouldn't, you know, like I doubt Hailey Paris is going to go on a show without being paid, you know, so what does that entail? Now I am going to get to the fight that broke out between Mauricio and Paris Hilton last night, but before I do, I wanted to like intertwine the reunion around that gossip. So just hang tight on that for a minute. Also odd, there was no ambulance. All we see is Garcelle and Sutton leaving in like a limousine SUV off to the emergency room. So I'm not sure where this conversation about an ambulance came up. Andy said that there was an ambulance called for them and they went away in the ambulance and she just said they were in an ambulance, but we never saw an ambulance. They showed like a black SUV taking them away to the hospital. So where was the freaking ambulance in all this? I want to know. I mean, maybe it was like they took a limo to an ambulance. It's weird, <laughs> but it's possible. Very strange. Uh, we didn't see Sutton throw up or any of that other drama either, but I mean, you got to assume that if she did all that, then it wasn't Kathy Hilton, although Kathy would say otherwise. So then the next part of the reunion is really Kyle Richards talking about her relationship with Mauricio and then Kyle Richards talking about her relationship with Morgan Wade. But before we get into that, let's talk about the fight that happened with Paris Hilton and Mauricio. Here's what Mauricio said on his Netflix teaser that they released. They're obviously releasing information on the Netflix show at the same time that it's releasing on Beverly Hills. There's definitely some synergy happening between Bravo and Netflix or Mauricio and Kyle, I'm not sure which, on things that are coming out. Because this whole thing came out on the part three of the reunion tonight that we're about to hear, but from Kathy and Kyle's perspective versus Mauricio's perspective. And it just so happens that Netflix released this on the teaser this week too. I mean, you know. I can't believe I'm sitting here first. I am so happy that you are. You know, I remember when you joined Hilton and Highland and we were still there. I was a young boy. Then I left. I don't know if you know that story. Was your goal to be brought in as a partner there? And that's just didn't that's work out exactly there. what happened. So, you know, I think I got kind of fucked by Hilton and Highland. And, and when I say fucked, you know, like today I'm happy. But there was a hundred agents at Hilton and Highland. They did a billion dollars for the first time a year. I was 19.6% of their production. And I went to Rick and I said, I really like equity, right? And to be a partner, he went back, he talked to Jeff, he got back to me. And basically I was told no. Then I went home, I talked to Kyle. I go, this is really gonna cause a lot of stress between you and your sister and your family. And I, I don't wanna do this move of leaving and starting a company if you're not comfortable. She was 100% supportive. And then I remember they said to me, how did you not give us any warning or any issue? And I was like, warning? I think Hilton Highland is an amazing company and I would never be caught dead speaking poorly about them because I don't think poorly about them. And I am Rick's brother-in-law, but unfortunately it got sour because really if I affected the family, Kyle more than anybody, you know, her family stopped speaking to her. But she understood that what was done to me was wrong and she stood by me and um, at the end of the day i needed that all right so what are the differences in this story kathy hilton says that mauricio told them on a thursday that he was unhappy and then left on like a monday so gave them no notice and he poached agents from hilton and highland and I knew that. I actually just said that in the Patreon last night, but that's a known part of the story, which was what really set Rick off. It wasn't so much that 
Mauricio suddenly left. It was that he poached agents. Now, Kyle brought a new element into the story tonight in the reunion, which I didn't know, which was Mauricio had a the agency within Hilton and Highland. Sometimes agents, you know, for marketing reasons, will create like, I don't know, the Anderson Group, and that's in Douglas Elliman, for example. Well, he had like the Mauricio Umansky, the agency within Hilton and Highland. So the way Mauricio saw it is he just took his little gang and left. But the way Rick saw it is you took a bunch of my agents that were under your sort of marketing umbrella and took them from me. And he had specifically asked Mauricio not to poach agents. And Mauricio obviously didn't respond or just did it. I'm not sure, but that's what really caused the issue. Now, that was actually one of the three major fights that Kathy Hilton mentions on the reunion tonight that Kyle Richards and her have, although they've had a tumultuous relationship, they've only had three whoppers, and that was definitely one of them. Now, Paris Hilton dropped this when she saw the Mauricio Umansky trailer clip. She said, my father's a consummate gentleman and has always taken the higher road. He would never speak negatively about his family, especially in the press. Frankly, we are all sick of him using the Hilton name every chance he gets to plug his lame show. It is enough already. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Paris was very activated for her to do this because you have to know that this is not on Paris Hilton's brand. This is not in the PowerPoint, which is uh, what she lives her life by. This was actually a very old Paris response. You know, Paris in the old days, wasn't a unicorn girl. She didn't take the high road. She said horrific things to people. She was awful in the way that she behaved, okay? And her new behavior is like her whole rebranding following this is Paris. And she doesn't come for people. And even though she's on Paris in love, she tries to really keep it you know, high level and inspirational and sliving and pink and all this stuff. So this was really a departure and a shout out to the old Paris. So I was like, uh oh, <laughs> but you got to know the Hilton family hates Mauricio. Okay. He can say whatever he wants on his show, but they hate him. It's time to get real now. So Mauricio and Kyle broke up because Mauricio there's been rumors for years has been cheating on Kyle and Kyle started to believe the rumors and she believed the rumors because Mauricio was traveling all the time, never home. She heard them from multiple people and then she finds stuff in his DMs, which isn't said on the show, but this is what happens. And she really starts to believe based on these flirtatious DMs that Mauricio has in his phone that he might have cheated on her or has had extramarital relations. And once that happens, something inside her dies, like really dies because she can't deny it anymore. And she kind of falls out of love with him. Now, Kathy tries to shout out in the reunion that she thinks this has been a a problematic marriage for the last three years and Kyle cuts her off and she's like, no, that's just not accurate. Like really shuts her sister down, but I think it is accurate. So Mauricio leaks a video from Aspen where he's talking to a girl saying he's moving out of Kyle's house and he's single. I mean, obviously he leaked it in time for the show tonight. Come on. So we kind of get that off the table. We now know and yeah, yeah, okay. And then we move on to Morgan Wade. And really what comes out of it is Morgan Wade and Kyle are not an, in an official relationship. But Kyle is open to dating Morgan Wade. And she will and maybe has dated Morgan Wade. But she's not going to define it further than that. And she said, no, they haven't had a relationship. She also said Morgan Wade hates being associated with the show and wanted to go back to her focus on music and get out of the limelight of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Hmm. And so I think this is a semantics thing where 
Kyle's like, I'm not ready to come out and say I'm girlfriend and girlfriend with Morgan Wade, but I'm definitely open to having a relationship in the future with Morgan Wade. And I'm not defining our relationship right now, which might mean that we're sexual and it might mean we're not. But she definitely has got feelings for Morgan Wade that is not typical of just a basic friendship, okay? And she makes that pretty clear. Face Reality 16 noticed that Kyle Richards was caught at the stagecoach event, which is mentioned in the reunion tonight in regards to her and Morgan Wade's relationship. And she had been sent this gossip way back when by someone, a non, and she posted it tonight. And I thought I'd share it with you. It said, side note, my friend is a contract employee for festival production. And she said it's stagecoach 2023, Kyle was there with Morgan and saw them holding hands back then. So there you go. So they're going to start filming in April. They're right back in production again. So I think we're going to see Kathy and Kyle as the big anchors of next season. Although, uh, you know, you never know till the contracts are finalized, but I'd say that's in the works. That's a wrap. Season 13 in the can. So now we move on to gossip videos for a while to replace this recap. Yay. I also was asked if I would like to do a once a week kind of social hour with you guys where we just share our opinions on gossip that dropped that week. And I wanted to hear your thoughts about that. If I was to kind of do a gossip dump of like the best stuff of the week on let's say a Friday for an hour with you guys, would you want to watch that live and comment about your feelings on things of the week? And like, I'll talk about it too, what you're saying. And we all kind of just powwow about stuff. Oh my gosh, I'd love to do one on Kate Middleton. Okay, and the Patreon, we're obsessed. Um, <laughs> so let me know if that's something you would enjoy out here in the YouTube space, okay? Put it in the comments of this video and I will read these. I, I know sometimes I don't, but this one I will.